Hey, it's Denise. Welcome back. Uh, if you've never been here before, welcome to my channel. I am a little bit of a mess, uh, but a happy mess. Uh, we've had pu my puppy, Percy, has been home with us for four nights now. And I wanted to tell you about my recent um, order from Chewy.com. So let me get into it, and then at the end we'll see if the girl herself will make an appearance. Uh, let me start with, I can tell you I opened them and I gave her one so that I can give you her opinion as well as my own. These bully sticks, the brand is USA Bones and Chews. Um, I know I might sound like a little bit of a commercial here and I'm not saying you have to buy this brand, but I am saying that you should look for uh, chews that are made in the United States. Uh, or Canada. Canada's fine also. Um, so if they come from elsewhere in the world, sometimes they have... Can you can you read that? I'm in my new setup, as you can see. I'm no longer... If you've watched my other videos, you know that if they're done from my computer, they're usually in my bedroom. And obviously we're now in Percy's bedroom. So I'm still working on the lighting, and uh, I apologize that the lighting is a little uneven. Anyway, um, so these... When you get... We, we all know rawhide is bad, right? By now, I mean, a long time ago. I know when I was a kid, now keep in mind I'm 52, I was a kid a long time ago. Rawhide treats were what you gave your dog, you know? Now we all know better. There's all kinds of chemicals and bad things in there that you shouldn't be giving your dog. So you don't want to buy rawhide. Um, you, you want to go with things like bully sticks or pig ears or elk antlers or you know, other kinds of things that have not been chemically treated. And the best way to guarantee that they haven't been chemically treated is to stick to brands that are made in the United States or Canada. Um, so, yeah, I'm not plugging a specific brand. I'm just saying you want to make sure that it's not rawhide and that it's not from another country where it may have been treated with chemicals that are more suited to tanning leather for use in clothing than they are for something that you would want your pet to eat. So this was a three-pack. Uh, Percy's in there doing a job on one of these. I um, This is her first time having a bully stick. You can kind of see a little active puppy in there. She's chewing on one of these. So I know they're a little imposing looking, and it does warn you um, that they have natural oils in them. You know, you might not want to use this, like, on a carpet or, you know, upholstered area where it could leave a little bit of a, you know, residue. So, I have her on a tiled floor, so if it leaves a little, you know, mess, it's no problem to just... Her whole area, I'm using a vinegar-based, uh, non-toxic floor cleaner, so if there are, you know, any accidents that I had to clean up, I just spray a little bit of that cleaner and wipe it with paper towel. So I figure if this leaves any kind of like greasy mark or anything on the floor, I can just use that same thing to clean it. And that way I don't have to worry that either the treat or what I'm cleaning up with in her area, you know, could, could make her sick. Next thing, kind of in line with the same thing, natural pig ear. Um, I ordered three of these. I do have another dog. Um, I have a 15-year-old beagle, Jay. He... He likes his goodies, too, so, again, you know, staying away from rawhide. Uh, I figured in case she just, you know, I know from what I've heard, most dogs like the bully sticks, but just in case she didn't, I also went with a uh, piggier option as a, a nice hard chew. Obviously, she, you know, at her age, she's like eight and a half weeks now. I'm sorry. I, again, I apologize about the light. I am... Still getting, trying to get it right in this uh, location. I mean, you can see I've got a window directly behind me, but then I've got some kind of harsh artificial light to the left. Um, but the main thing is I wanted you to be able to see her and her area. That's that's her litter box. Uh, she came from the breeder, litter box trained. And she was already, I would say, like 50% accurate the first day she came home. And um, she's already in... You know, like I said, last night was the fourth night that she slept here. 
Yes, it's Wednesday. Can you tell I haven't been getting any sleep? I can't remember what day it is. Of course, you know, the whole quarantine thing, a lot of us can't remember what day it is. Anyway, she's uh, day by day making marked progress in terms of not having accidents. So I had never litter box trained a dog before. I have to say, it's a godsend with a puppy at night. Um, she knows, like, her crate, I don't know if you can really tell from this angle, but the obviously the end towards me is closed, but the other end is open directly into her playpen area, so during the night she has access if she needs to get up and walk over to leave, uh, to leave her crate to use the litter box, she can do so. Um, because otherwise I, you know, I would have to be walking her like every hour and a half all night so that she didn't have an accident in her crate. And we, we've got snow here, people. It's been snowing for days. It's below zero Fahrenheit at, at night in the single digits in the daytime the last few days. So it has been a godsend that at night we can just let her use the litter box. And like I said, in just a couple days, she's already, like, I don't want to jinx myself, but I would say she's almost completely accident free in terms of that. And that's why we're using this whole, I'll make another video about who, the trainers and stuff that I get my inspiration from in terms of how I'm ra raising her. But yeah, so the, the pig ear was the other natural treat. This happens to be that same company. Um, Chewy.com is the website I ordered it on. Um, they, they carry, you know, numerous brands. But uh, like I said, I'm not, not plugging a particular brand, just the you want to make sure you get stuff without chemicals, so look for stuff made in the United States or Canada. Next item. Now, I am not going to be doing her grooming. She is a standard poodle, uh, and standard poodle puppies come home to you uh, if they come from a good breeder who handles them and, you know, works with them and desensitizes them from day one, like her wonderful breeder did. Um, I should give a little shout out. She came from Hillside Standard Poodles in Rome, New York. Rachel, the owner, um, breeder, uh, since it starts working with her puppies to socialize and desensitize them when they're about three days old. So right from the very beginning, uh, they're, they're great. A lot of people get their puppy home at eight weeks and it doesn't know how to have a, a first bath yet or anything. Not only has she had a couple baths, she's already been clipped. Like her face is clipped clean and her paws are all clipped clean. So she looks like a fully groomed poodle, even though she's only eight weeks old. So I don't, being that she won't need another grooming for about six weeks, I don't want her to forget that. So I bought this really not so much because I think I'll be using it a lot, more because I want to be able in between groomings to keep her desensitized so that the sound and being touched by it, because you know, it has like that vibration kind of feeling, which is probably a little tickly especially in a sensitive area like their face and their feet. Um, I just wanted to be sure that she doesn't forget what this is, and then the groomer would have to go through a much harder time getting her used to it all over again. So I just want to keep her accustomed to this. And also then, if I saw any tangles of hair, like I might want to train do a little bit more around like her butt just to keep things clean. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting her professionally groomed every six weeks or so. But I think it's a good idea to have them. And if you consider it six weeks compared to the fact that she's only eight weeks old, that's almost an entire lifetime to her. So she could very easily forget this experience if I don't keep her used to it before the next time she goes to the groomer. Okay, the other thing we got, they're basically baby wipes. I know. I probably paid like twice as much for baby wipes. Well, not twice. A little more for baby wipes because they're specifically saying that they're for a dog. But it was important to me to make sure that it's a product that was okay for her. Um, I mean, I would assume probably if it's safe for a human baby, it's probably safe for a puppy, but you never know. So wasn't taking any chances. The, it's Nature's Miracle brand. They're deodorizing bath wipes. It's a hundred of them. It's your standard, like... Um, baby wipe kind of packaging. It's got plastic on top. I haven't opened it yet, but you know, then it'll be like you dispense one. I like the plastic top as opposed to just that kind of floppy, like almost like piece of tape top, because those don't really stay sealed sometimes and then the wipes dry out. So I went for this. They also had them in a canister, 
which makes me think sort of like of, you know, like how Clorox cl cleanup wipes come in that canister that you pull out one at a time. It always seems to want to pull out more than one. But those were only 50. These are 100 wipes. And the price was only a couple dollars different. So this was definitely a better price, you know, for more wipes in terms of if you went with this packaging instead of the canister. And uh, I like this. I just... They don't dry out. I like that it has the nice sealing plastic top. Happy with this. Um, I want to mention I just placed an order, another order with Chewy.com. Um, if you looked at my last video, you saw I reviewed the Adaptal Calm, um, how she's reacting to it. Uh, spoiler alert, I placed an order for the refill. This was a starter kit that I purchased uh, before she got home. It's a pheromone scented. If you think of like for your house, like almost like a Glade plug-in air freshener, think of that concept, but the scent is something that's a pheromone for relaxing for a dog. So she definitely, I noticed, I've noticed her several times every day make, walking over and sniffing it. Now I obviously don't want her having access to an outlet, so I installed an outlet cover over it, which is basically a plastic box that just, you know, comes out a few inches from the wall and encloses the outlet and the plug-in thing fits within that, um, within that box. So she walks over and puts her nose over the top of it where she, obviously the scent is kind of wafting like the, it's like jazz hands, right? Isn't that what they call that? Uh, you know, when, where the scent is wafting out, she, um, she definitely goes over it and smells it periodically so she obviously likes the scent um, so I did just order refills and I am amazed that you know in a world where everybody you know no matter who you order from things seem to always be delayed and slow at the moment I mean we all know why but the stuff from Chewy.com always seems to come amazingly fast I don't know how I it just appears on my porch very quickly. Like, in two, they say two-day delivery, it's there. Anybody else, like Amazon says two-day delivery, you're lucky if it's there in four or five days. Um, at least where I live. Um, but, yeah, I ordered the refills because I feel like if that scent is, you know, makes her feel like this is home, I definitely want to keep using it for another couple months. Especially because she's going to be spending a lot of time in here. Um, this, this is her room. Uh, you know, I moved my computer in here so that I'll be spending most of my time in here so that I'll be with her most of the time. Um, again, let me just give you a quick run through in case you didn't catch them initially. It's the Conair Pro Dog is the clipper that I got and it uses one AA battery so you don't have to worry about a... Drop that. You don't have to worry about a cord or about recharging. It's just a simple battery. That was this. Then we have the, did you hear grumbly pants in there? Then we have the bully sticks, which are six to nine inches. This was a three pack. Like I told you, she already has one and seems very happy with it. Then we have the pig ear, which it, yeah, it grosses me out a little bit when, it, you know, I mean the bully stick too for that matter. But, yeah, I won't get into a discussion on that. When you can recognize what the body part is, sometimes I just find that kind of off-putting. You know, like, when you look at, like, oh, it's dog biscuit shaped, you don't think about what it's made of, per se. When it's a dried pig ear, and you're someone who had potbelly pigs as pets years back, it's kind of cringy, you know? But it's a healthy thing for her. You know, it's a healthy chew uh, option, and... At her age, she's got those puppy teeth. She needs to chew. Um, it's pointless and actually counterproductive to not give her something appropriate to chew because then every once in a while you'll hear her grab and start to chew on the bars of the crate. Um, she's you know still very young, so she'll grab and like chew on my clothing or grab str strength. That's all the puppy stuff. We still have to work our way through, but... My point is you want to make sure you do have things that are appropriate that you can redirect the chewing to and you want to make sure that they're healthy. 
So I was very happy with those. Happy with the wipes and uh, like I said, ordered the refill for this. So I will be getting those probably in a couple days because I just ordered them and I bet they'll be here in a couple days. Um, thank you for watching. Please take a moment. Uh, it matters when you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. Please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Let me know if you've used any of these products and how your dog feels about them, dog or puppy. Um, this was my first time. I didn't know anybody who had used the Adaptal, so I ordered it just going on like internet reviews that I could find. Is she using the litter box? I hear litter box noises. Um, anyway, so I had ordered it really as an unknown thing, so I was very pleasantly surprised at how well it seems to work. It also comes in a little bottle sprayer that you can spray inside your crate or pet carrier. So I did spray inside the crate when I took her for her vet's appointment. She was very mellow in the car, so I, you know, from my experience with her, I'm very happy with it. Um, let me know if you've used it, or you know, let me know if you found this helpful. Let me know if there's any other specific items that you're thinking about or would like me to, you know, puppy items that you're curious about, and I'll see if they're things that I would be interested in getting for her and reviewing. So have a great day, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.